How's it going, gang? Welcome. Thanks for checking in. We are here checking in with our worms, seeing what's been been going on, and I'm also checking in with y'all. It's been coronavirus. What wild times on this planet. It's it's a really interesting time. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, plenty of time to watch YouTube videos, right? And hopefully do some of those home projects, which is what we're up to, doing home projects. And one of those is verma culturing, verma composting, worm composting. And we are using our spent mushroom substrate and turning it into the best form of soil, also called worm casting. So gang, who is still working today? The worms, right? They're nonstop. They're just going and going and going. So let's check out how they're doing. Cool. So can worms compost your spent mushroom substrate? The answer, short answer, yes. Yes, they can. And they do it very, 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 very well. And so this bin is from, let's do it. Let's do it. They're doing it. Let's do it. Right? There's a few different styles. I've been playing with this. Check them out up here if you want to watch some of those other videos. The most latest video was my worm salad video, right? And that was combining a few different mediums for the worms to rip through. And gang, I have peeked in on this and it's going really, really, really well. I'm very excited. The other style was what we inoculated this bin of these worms and you can check it out. They're still ripping through. So this is old substrate that I actually put in a compost tea to bacterial inoculate this substrate. And this is what has been ripping through. And so I put this on this side, if you haven't watched the video, and I kind of thought that they'd move out of here, but look, they're just multiplying and going for it. Um, pretty much everywhere you pick up, there's tons of worms. So I'm really excited. And you can see it's got that nice sticky casting. I mean, this is what I think is good soil right now. Obviously there's still stuff in there to eat. Over on this side, this was just straight mycelium blocks put in here without doing any bacterial inoculation because they also love to eat mycelium. And so this is like a layer, it's like lasagna style of mycelium and grub castings. Check the other video out um, to see how we did this, but it's going really, really well. I'm super, super, super excited. So come in here, look at this, look at this. So all of this side was a worm casting. Oh, they just hid away from the light, but look at this. So where'd they go? There they go, here's a bunch. There's a bunch, see the babies? So this was old mushroom substrate. It's only been a few weeks. They're already ripping through. The salad element has gone away, right? What is moving? And it's kind of more meddling together. You can still see here some wood chip chunks. Those will take a little longer to break down. But literally, look how dark this is. This was mycelium. When I first put it in here, I wish I'd take a video because all the mycelium, wow, look at that. All the mycelium started growing. But gang, I am exhilarated because these guys love this. I mean, look at this. Like before my other videos, I had to kind of search for the worms a little here. It's just like, look how many are in here and look how this is already turning into dark soil. And so the exciting thing for me is every six weeks, oh, love you too, buddy. Um, every six weeks, the worm population doubles, all right? And then the worms themselves eat their body weight daily, right? So this whole population is doubling, right? So what is it, in four and a half week, four and a half months, I could have eight times the amount of worms and have that many more worms turning this into substrate faster. So can you compost your substrate with worms? Again, the answer is yes. I highly recommend this and subscribe, check out a bunch of other videos because we're gonna talk about what you can do with the worm tea and all sorts of stuff. So the, the resources here is endless. Thanks for checking in. Hope y'all are well in, you know, in your social, what is it called? Social distancing, social staying at home, doing home projects. Garden on y'all, turn, uh, turn the mushroom blocks into uh, something usable. You want to see some more worms? Who wants to see some more worms? You want to see some more worms, Jimmy? Let's see. Let's go. Let's go over here. Woo! Isn't that wild? Look at that. 
They're just everywhere. Are you guys excited about this as I am? Look at that. Look at how many are in there. And the thing is, I thought that they would leave over here from over on this side. I have one block up there just because, but this is just mushrooms. sticky. Mushrooms. I know that. Oh, yeah, I put those mushrooms in there. Uh, they're still going to town in here.